What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to add an unfollow function to our profile pages for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add a little unfollow function to our profile pages. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, somebody asked me to add this little feature a couple of weeks ago. So I think we're going to do that in this video. And what we're going to do is on our profile pages, you see we have these follows, who you follow. We're going to put a little icon next to this so we can unfollow these people from this page. Right now, you have to click on the profile and then click this unfollow button on their profile. April doesn't have any tweets. And that's kind of tedious. It'd be nicer just to have a little link right here we can click to unfollow right from our own profile page. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to Rakota. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django Twitter clone series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's start out by heading over to our templates and our profile page. And let's just come down here and find the section we want to work with. So let's see. We've got, let's scroll down. Here's our social media links. Here's our bio. And here is the following section. So looks like right here is where we need to be. So let's, let's test this. Let's just type in test, save this, head back over here, hit reload. And yep, sure enough, right there, test, test, test underneath each one. So we probably don't want it right underneath it. We probably want it right next to it. So let's just move that over and make sure we're in the right spot here. Okay, sure enough, there we go. So now instead of this saying test, let's create a link. So href equals. And for now, I'm just going to put the hashtag. And this should say unfollow, but we don't really want it to say unfollow because if we do that, I mean, that's kind of janky looking. Instead, let's use a little icon. So I'm gonna head over to Google. I'm going to type in font awesome because that's what we've been using so far. And then I'm going to type in unfollow icon and see what we have. We have this FA undo. Okay, that looks all right. Little undo icon, you know, whatever you want. So I'm just going to copy this. Let's head back over here. And instead of saying unfollow, let's paste that in and let's kind of put this on its own line this is getting a little unruly. There we go. And we don't need this true thing here. And also I want I want to make this small. And we also want to change the color. So I'm going to come up here and copy from one of our other icon things this little style thing. And so let's make it gray, I guess. Whatever. Let's go ahead and save this head back over here. See how this looks. Okay, so now we've got this little icon. I think that looks pretty good. So now we need to actually do something. So in order to follow somebody, normally we have a button that creates that calls a form. And we don't really want to call a form because we've already we're already calling a form on this page. Right? So instead, let's just go ahead and create some links, just a regular HTML link, and uh, unfollow it that way. So how do we do that? Well, first we need a URL. So let's go to our URLs.py and I'm just going to copy this last one here. And instead of meep show, let's have this point to unfollow. And we definitely want to pass an integer with a primary key so we know who to unfollow, right? We want to unfollow user eight or unfollow user 12 or whatever. So we need to pass that number in. So this is going to be views.unfollow. And let's give this a name of, you guessed it, unfollow. Okay, so that'll work for our URL. Pretty simple. Now we need a view. So let's head over to our views.py file. And let's go down to our profile section. And right above this, let's define our unfollow. And we want to pass in the request and that primary key. So here, it's very important that we test to see if the user is logged in because we don't want just anyone to be able to unfollow people. You have to be logged in so that you are unfollowing for your own profile, right? Otherwise, anybody could unfollow anybody for anybody's profile. We don't want that. So we want to make sure that the user is logged in. Else, and let's 
come down here and grab a little message and a redirect. And let's paste this in. And so if you're not logged in, they'll get this little message that pops up that says you must be logged in to view this page and it'll redirect them back to the home page or wherever you want to redirect them. So, okay, that looks good. So now what are we looking at here? Well, first we need to find the profile that we need to unfollow. So let's uh, get the profile to unfollow. And I'm going to call this profile, call it anything you want, but it's a profile. And this is going to be a profile.objects.get. And what do we want to get? Well, we want to get the user underscore ID that equals that primary key, that PK, this guy right here. So if we go back over here and we hover over this, you see down in the bottom left hand corner, it says profile slash three. And for Bob, it's profile slash four. And for Wes, it's profile slash six, it looks like. So that number, that six, that four, that three, whatever, we want to pass that in as that primary key in this link, and we'll do that. Uh, but then when we do, it'll get passed as PK. We could take that and use that to look up their user ID and assign that profile to this variable called profile, right? Or I guess up here, right? So, okay, so we've got the user that we want to unfollow. Now, how do we unfollow them? Well, let's unfollow the user. And to do that, we just designate our profile, we're going to say, Hey, remove that profile from our profile. Well, what's our profile? Our profile is the request dot user dot profile, right? And that request is being sent in here, right? That's the logged in user, right? So request dot user dot profile. So to access the people that we that we follow, that's request dot user dot profile dot follows, right? So, you know, admin, follows a bunch of people, right? So of those people that we follow, we want to dot remove somebody. Who do we want to dot remove? Well, we want to dot remove this guy that we just designated this profile. So we could just pass that right in, right? So then save our removed, well, let's say save our profile. And that's just going to be request dot user dot profile dot save. And that's kind of really all there is to it. So now let's uh, return message. And I'm just going to copy this whole thing right here. And we don't want to return to the home page. We want to return back to our profile page. Well, what is that? Well, that is the request dot meta. Eh, actually, let me search because we did this earlier. I'm just going to copy this whole thing because I don't want a typo. And remember a few videos ago, we did this thing where we redirect back to our own page, right? So we'll just use that. And here it is right here. So I'll just paste that in there. And that will return us back to the page, our own profile page, right? So if you don't remember this, check the playlist, go back and watch the video where we, we played around with that. Now, the message we want to say, what do we want to say? You have success fully unfollowed who? Well, let's make this into an F string. Right? And then let's pass in a variable that says, who are we actually unfollowing? Well, that's just profile dot user dot username. Remember this profile, that's who we designated right here, when we passed in the primary key to look up the person we want to unfollow, right? So that should do it really, I think. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over here. And we have one more thing to do. We have to pass in that URL link to our profile page. So go to our profile.html. And here is that link we created earlier, but instead of a hashtag, let's create a Django URL tag. And we want to send this to unfollow. And we also want to pass the ID of the person we want to unfollow. And that's this thing right here. So that is just following.user.id. So go ahead and save this, head back over here. Let's hit reload on this page. And now if we hover over April, we see down in the bottom left-hand corner, her profile is three. Now, if we hover over this little unfollow link, we're sending it to unfollow slash three. Test it for Bob. Bob's profile is four. If we click on here, it says unfollow slash four. 
right? So it looks like everything's paired up correctly. So let's go ahead and unfollow April. We'll just go ahead and click here. Boom. You have successfully unfollowed April. If we look at our thing, she's no longer in the list. So that looks like it worked. So let's go to the profile list, click on April. Let's go ahead and follow her again. Let's go back to our profile. Yep, sure enough, she's there. I'll hit reload just to make sure. And that seems to work. Let's unfollow Bob. Boom, Bob is gone. You have successfully unfollowed Bob. That looks good. Let's go back and I like Bob. We'll go ahead and follow him again. And there we go. And uh, yeah, seems to work. And that's all there is to it. So pretty simple, definitely just a different way to unfollow. Whereas before we had to click on April and then right here on April's profile, we had to click this button. If we look at our profile, if we come down here, uh, let's see, did we set that up as a form? Yeah, we set that up right here as a form that you are actually filling out by clicking the button and then it's sending the profile information to the view and it's essentially doing the same thing, removing that user, unfollowing that user. But this way we could do it with just a link and uh, yeah, seems to work pretty good. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 170,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.